In the thumbnail to this video, we ask which one of these three integrals here is correct. And it turns out all of them are correct. It depends on the circumstance as we are going to explain in this video. Okay, so the video is entitled Cauchy's Theorem and when to use it. So let's have a quick look. We have the integral of dz over z minus a around a curve c. It either equals zero or it equals two pi or it equals minus two pi depending on circumstance. So let's have a look at Cauchy's theorem here because everything revolves around Cauchy's theorem. So basically they're saying if f of z is a complex valued function and is analytic, i.e. differentiable everywhere, inside and on a curve c, and c is a simple closed curve, then the integral of f of z dz around the curve c is equal to zero. So that is Cauchy's theorem there. Okay, so let's have a first, uh, let's have a quick look first at the integral of dz over z around the curve c, where c is the unit circle centred at zero. So here is the point zero, here is the x-axis, here is the y-axis. So this is our curve c, and we're going to try and do the integral dz over z centred around it. OK, now, we cannot use the Cauchy theorem here. Why? Because 1 over z, the function 1 over z, is not analytic everywhere, and it has to be analytic everywhere inside. It's not analytic everywhere because it's not defined for z equal 0. And so therefore, because there's a singularity at z equals 0, so therefore, on this integral here, we can't use the Cauchy theorem. So we were going to evaluate it using a substitution. So let's let z equal e to the i theta, so therefore dz equals i e to the i theta d theta, and therefore the integral dz over z around that curve is equal to the integral of i e to the i theta d theta over e to the i theta, and the e to the i theta cancels out, which gives us the integral of i d theta, uh, which gives us the integral of i d theta, which equals theta between, and I'm going to fill these limits in now, let's have a look at what happens. Here is, is z, and it's going to go around anti-clockwise, sorry, I forgot to mention that, anti-clockwise around this circle. It's going to start at theta equals 0, and it's going to go all the way around to theta equals 2 pi. So it's going to go from theta equals 0 to theta equals 2 pi. So our limits here are 0 to 2 pi, 0 to 2 pi, 0 to 2 pi, 0 to 2 pi, which equals 2 pi i. And therefore, the integral 1 over z dz around the unit circle is equal to 2 pi i. That's the first thing. Okay, now, this uh, is when we go anti-clockwise. If we were to go clockwise around the curve, by convention, we go from theta equals 2 pi to theta equals 0, or theta equals 0 to theta equals minus 2 pi, and therefore the integral is equal to exactly the same as we've just done, except the integral is minus 2 pi i. So it depends whether you go anti-clockwise around the curve, and it's 2 pi i, or clockwise around the curve, and it's minus 2 pi i. Okay, so that basically is the first one. Okay, now let's just have a look at a slightly different... Uh, where did I put the second circle? Oh, okay, I'll put the second circle here. Now what we're going to do is, again, we're going to still do the integral dz over z around the curve c. But this time, uh, we're going to have the curve c. Sorry about my x and y axes not being straight. The curve c is going to be centred at 1 plus i. Okay, and here is the point z equals 0, and it's a unit circle. So there is c now, centred at 1 plus i. Now, the difference between this, the point z equals 0 is not inside the circle, and therefore the function f of z equals 1 over z is analytic inside this circle. Therefore, we can use the Cauchy theorem, and therefore the integral dz over z around this curve here, centred at 1 plus i, is equal to 0 by the Cauchy theorem. Now, if we had have used the substitution, because some people get confused about this thing, well, hang on a sec, if we'd used the substitution, we would have surely got 2 pi i. Well, let's have a look. Theta here, maybe let's just do it in another colour, because this is important now. Uh, right, let's go into red. So theta here, it starts at theta equals 0, and it goes around like this, 
basically here is its maximum is at theta equals pi over 2 but then as it comes back it goes comes back here and it ends up again at theta equals 0 so theta goes from 0 uh, sorry 0 to 0 and therefore if we had have done that substitution uh, method instead of having theta going from 0 to 2 pi we would have had theta going from 0 to 0 which by the fundamental theorem of calculus would have given 0 so therefore this substitution method here had we used that on the on the regardless of what the circle is it would give the right answer it would give 2 pi i or minus 2 pi i if the singularity was inside the circle and if the singularity is outside of the circle it would give zero which agrees with the Cauchy theorem so that's really important uh, that is okay so that's basically that one now okay so let's go back uh, to the question in hand uh, which was uh, the integral of dz over z minus a for some random point a and it's, it's very similar actually for what we've just done okay so let's have a look at um, um, the integral dz over z minus a over some curve um, and let's here here's the thing here's the circle here let's imagine this is our x y uh, or the argon diagram uh, here and let's imagine that our point a is here and our circle is here now because a is inside the circle we can't use the Cauchy theorem to evaluate this why because 1 over z minus a is not analytic everywhere inside that curve therefore we can't use Cauchy there's a singularity at z equals a therefore we evaluate by substitution and very similar to what we just done we go z minus a equals e to the i theta therefore dz equals i e to the i theta d theta and therefore our integral dz over z minus a around that curve there becomes equal to excuse me the integral uh, of i e to the i theta d theta over e to the i theta and we'll do the uh, the limits in a minute which becomes again theta between uh, i theta sorry i theta between okay now let's have a look basically uh, let's go back into another color here so basically theta it doesn't matter where we start let's imagine we start here theta will be zero and theta will go through every single value all the way to 2 pi. So again, our limit here would be between 0, uh, not that one, sorry, here, between 0 and 2 pi, 0 and 2 pi, 0 and 2 pi, which gives us the answer of 2 pi i if a is inside the circle. And if a uh, <coughs> excuse me my apologies so that gives us the answer of 2 pi i if a is inside the circle and that assumes that we are going anti-clockwise if we are going clockwise then everything is exactly the same except we go from 0 to instead of going from 0 to 2 pi we go from 2 pi to 0 or 0 to minus 2 pi and therefore our answer is minus 2 pi i that's just a convention okay so that's that now, finally, I think I drew one more circle here. Yes, I did. Okay, finally, the integral of dz over z minus a around a curve. So let's imagine that here is our curve and here is our point A, which is outside of our curve C. Okay, so A is not inside. We can use the Cauchy theorem because 1 over z minus A is analytic everywhere inside that circle and therefore the integral of dz over z minus A around that circle there when A is here, which is outside of the circle by the Cauchy theorem, is equal to 0. And again, let's just go into our other colour. If we were doing the substitution then uh, it doesn't matter what point we start on let's say we start on this point here uh, when we're doing uh, the, the substitution theta here would go from uh, whatever zero all the way up and then all the way down and it would end up back where it came from it would not go from zero to two pi or whatever it would go from some point x or whatever it is 
back to some other point x. So by the fundamental theorem of calculus, it would have traversed from one point back to the same point, and therefore the integral by substitution by the fundamental theorem of calculus would be equal to zero, which agrees with the Cauchy theorem. OK, well, I hope you found this useful uh, and it's clarified things. Uh, if it has, um, so let's just basically just go, go back uh, and just answer the question now, actually. So we can answer the question, can't we? So basically, the integral here, dz over z minus a over c equals zero when a is outside the circle or the, uh, the, the contour. It equals 2 pi when it's inside, and we go anti-clockwise, and it equals minus 2 pi when it's inside, and we go clockwise. So they are your three basic answers. Okay, well, I hope you found this useful. If you have, uh, like the video and subscribe to the Gresty Academy YouTube channel. Thank you.